Oh my, what is going on in Dallas? The Dallas Cowboys are a train wreck this week. Of course, you got multiple players calling out Mike McCarthy and the coaching staff, saying that the coaching staff is not doing their job, and that's why the players are not playing like they should be. And then you got Leighton Van Der Esch calling those players cowards for saying that about the coaches, to the media, not to the head coaches. Now, Mike McCarthy had a press conference this week. He even said that, you know, if you have a problem with me, come say it to my face. Don't sit here and say it to the media and then let the coaches find out about it through the media. To me, that's just asinite to do that. To me, that's scared. That's pussyitis, saying that you can't go to a coach and say it because you're afraid to get called out about it. Well, guess what? You're going to get called out because now the coach just found out through the media. Here's the thing, Dallas. Are these coaches making Ezekiel Elliott fumble the football? No, they are not. That was Ezekiel Elliott not holding on to the football. The guy had two fumbles. And then Dallas gets down 21-3 to just like that. Let's not blame this game on Andy Dalton either. Andy Dalton handed the ball off. He did not sit there and throw interceptions. He threw one interception, but they were already down by 21 points. And that interception was a pass interference that should have been called, but no, they didn't call it on Kirk, or Fitzpatrick, sorry, the safety for the Arizona Cardinals. So this game is not on Andy Dalton. Yes, I do believe the coaching staff had a little to do with it, but two fumbles early by Ezekiel Elliott, the man who held out last year before the season started, wanting to get paid because he believes, oh, he's the running back of the franchise. Guess what? If you want to be the running back of the franchise, don't fumble the ball two times in one game. He fumbled the ball twice at the first game of the year. And look what happened. They got beat. Guess what, Elliot? If you want to get paid, hold on to the football. High-paid running backs don't fumble like you're fumbling this year. I am glad that he came out. He blamed that on him, saying that it was all him. He didn't hold on to the football like he should have. And that's the reason the Cowboys got behind. Let's not sit here and put it on Andy Dalton. Come on. The guy the guy did not get himself down 21-3. to And I don't want to sit here and have everybody now go off saying, well, just because Dak Prescott's out, we're not going to win. Guess what? 1-4 and four with Dak Prescott. That has nothing to do with this. Quit blaming the game on Andy Dalton, Cowboy fans. Adam Parker, my co-host, is a Cowboys fan. He did not blame this game on Andy Dalton. He blamed it on Ezekiel Elliott. Elliott fumbled the football. Nobody else fumbled the football. Elliott fumbled it. His fault, he got his team down by three touchdowns. Sorry, two touchdowns plus seven points, or six points. Elliott did this to the team. I understand the defense is miserable. The defense can't stop anybody. Why they have not gone after Earl Thomas yet to sign a safety, I have no idea. They signed a safety from their practice squad, Whippy. That's from the practice squad. But this defense is atrocious. They're not going to stop giving up 20 points a game. They're going to keep giving up 30 points a game. I mean, they got the Washington football team tomorrow afternoon, so we'll see what happens there. But I still believe Kyle Allen and Antonio Gibson can put up 30 points against this Dallas defense. Leighton Van Der Esch, you know, he's right. You are a bunch of cowards to go out there and say to the media that the coaches aren't doing their job instead of going into the office, knocking on the door, saying, Coach, I got a problem with this coaching staff. You know, they're not doing their job. Man up and go say it to the coaches. Don't go to the media and tell the media that the Dallas Cowboys coaches weren't doing their job. They're not being strict enough. You know what? Mike McCarthy came in in a very odd situation with the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, injuries galore on the defensive side. Nothing he can do about that. The offense just not producing. They're fumbling the ball too much. I mean, what's the head coach supposed to do about fumbling the ball? He sat Ezekiel Elliott after that second fumble, put Pollard in, they drove down the field, and then they stalled for a field goal that Zerline missed. So, Mike McCarthy, I mean, there's just not much more he can do. If Dallas holds on to the football, they will win games. Maybe the defense will get better as the year goes. We all know the 2018 Chiefs defense, how bad they were beginning of the year, and then towards the end of the year, they kind of got better and then fell apart against the Patriots in the AFC Championship. So, you know, the defense can't get any worse than what they are right now. They're going to get better. 
It's just a matter of injuries, the matter of guys getting back. You know, is Jerry Jones going to make trades? Is he going to finally sign somebody to come in and help this defense? It's a blessing to have Leighton Vander Esch back, but, you know, one guy is not going to change this defense. And then we got the offensive line. Zach Martin went down last week. You know, Collins is out. Fredrickson retired. I mean, this offensive line is beat up as well, and it's just a young a young team playing right now. A lot of young guys. You have an experienced quarterback who's played eight years in the NFL, and Andy Dalton now behind the center with Dak Prescott out. Is Dak Prescott going to get paid next year? We don't know. Stephen Jones said yes, he will, but that's every owner. Every owner is going to say that about a quarterback that they all love. In my opinion, you know, Dak's Dak, if Dak would have won games, yes, he'd get paid. But the fact that he couldn't come back and win those games like Patrick Mahomes does when he's down by 10 or 13 points, Aaron Rodgers, well, Aaron Rodgers can't. He hasn't done much either, but he is 5-1 and one this year, so disregard that comment from me. I know I'll get flack for that. Sorry. But, you know, he's not a Russell Wilson where he can bring the team down like Russell did against the Vikings with two minutes left from the five-yard line and throw a touchdown pass with 16 seconds left and beat the Vikings. So, I mean, until Dak Prescott can prove that next year and bring this team back from 10 points down when they get down by 10 points, he'll get paid. But as of now, the guy did not prove that he can make the 10-point comebacks. The only reason he came back against the Falcons was because the Falcons' defense is atrocious and their special teams was stupid to let that ball roll the 10 yards instead of just jumping on it when they should have jumped on it. So, I mean, technically Dallas could be 1-5, and 1-6, and six and be in second place behind the Eagles, who are 2-4-1, and one, who look atrocious, and yet they're still second place behind the Cow. Actually, I think they're tied now. I don't know how the tiebreaker works ahead of the losses, so we'll find out about that, but I just, Dallas plays Washington tomorrow, this is a good game for Dallas to regroup, get their defense together against a Washington offense who is very young, non-experienced quarterback, and Kyle Allen behind the line of scrimmage, who's only played one full year with the Carolina Panthers, not even a full year last year, really, so I think he's had now maybe full 16 games he's had under his belt, so, you know, it's, Dallas is time to shine tomorrow and prove that their defense can get better against a Washington football team offense that is not the greatest, but they still put up points, and I believe they will put up points tomorrow against Dallas. So Dallas can't go in taking them too lightly, thinking, oh, it's Washington football team, their offense is bad, we don't need to play our greatest defense. Yes, you do. Play your greatest defense, because your greatest defense is still going to give up 25 points. So this offense is going to have to put up 26 points to even win a game this year I believe so we will see what happens I mean it's just a train wreck right now in Dallas Jerry Jones Mike McCarthy gotta you know get this team under control bring these guys into the locker room talk to them and hopefully Sunday they come out and show what they can do and calm everybody down and get on everybody's good side again so again stuff is brewing in Dallas and is it going to stop? We don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. See what happens. Um, Chiefs Broncos tomorrow, 3.30. Patrick Mahomes playing in the snow. It's supposed to be 5 to 10 degrees with a chance of snow. So Patrick Mahomes said he is ready. He loves playing in the snow. Of course, you got Dallas Washington football team. I believe Monday night is New Orleans at Las Vegas. Sorry, that game got moved to 3.30, I believe tomorrow afternoon so we will see that happen so again some big games coming up tomorrow and monday night it's going to be a big week in the nfl we are now this is week seven so next week will be the pretty much the halfway point to the nfl already this season thankfully not canceled they're doing what they can do with covid and the protocols buffalo bills tied in got tested positive for COVID today, so he had to go on quarantine. A couple of the practice squad guys who were close to him had to go on quarantine, and he, his wife just had a baby, so we need to pray for him and pray for the wife and the baby that they're okay, and hopefully the NFL will still keep their game going tomorrow regarding no positive, no more positive tests Sunday morning. So we will see what happens this week in the NFL. Go ahead and like this video. Comment underneath if you have any comments. Give us advice on how to make our videos better. And we will see you guys next time. And please hit that subscribe button. The more you can 
the more people we can get, the better this show will be. The more support we can get, we will love it. Thank you, guys.